Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carlo and I am your Pinoy Traveler. So in today's video, ang pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon is yung update sa ating mga uh, estudyante dito sa Australia in regard sa ating unlimited work hours. So stick with me in this video dahil meron tayong mahalagang pag-uusapan at mag magandang update para sa ating, para sa ilan sa ating mga student visa holders na nandito na sa Australia at para din sa mga nagpa-process or magpa-process pa lang ng kanilang mga application sa Pilipinas or kung saan mang lugar kayo sa mundo na papunta dito sa Australia. So hopefully, you have already subscribed to my channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell para naman sa aking mga future updates ay notify at ma-update kayo. So guys, itong update na ito is specifically applicable sa ating mga estudyante na currently nagtatrabaho dito sa aged care industry or kung ikaw ay nag-a-apply or magbabalat na magtrabaho sa aged care facility or sa aged care industry, itong uh, update na ito is applicable to you as well. So as we all know na starting July 1, babalik na yung work hours natin into 48 hours per fortnight. Um, so hindi na tayo pwedeng lumagpas doon in terms sa ating working hours. But for people who are working or currently working or students working in an aged care facility or aged care industry, itong uh, extension ng inyong unlimited work hours is extended up until July, sorry, December 31 of this year. So mga kapagtrabaho pa kayo unlimited, walang limit sa oras up until that date. So December 31, 2023. So tanungin natin kung sino ba yung mga tao nag o sino ba yung mga nagtatrabaho sa isang aged care industry. So kung ikaw ay nursing assistant, personal care support service, aged care worker obviously, personal care assistant, uh, residential care worker, o kahit nagtatrabaho ka sa isang uh, aged care facility, uh, itong update nito ay applicable sa inyo. So kung hindi pa kayo nakakaalam, uh, Itong update na ito ay uh, applicable sa iyo kung nagtatrabaho ka sa isa sa mga aged care facilities dito sa Australia. So, wala pang limit yung oras mo sa pagtatrabaho. You can still work unlimited hours and then you can study. Uh, and then, basahin natin yung update or article para um, maintindihan natin lalo kung ano yung implications at ano yung mga kasabay nito or ka, you know, mga, alam naman natin yung benefits natin ng working unlimited hours, ba? So, basahin na natin yung update para maging maintindihan natin lalo. So, last 9th of May of 2023, the Australian government revealed the, the new federal budget from 2023 to year 2024. So, from the cost of living crisis to skilled visa updates. So, number one na update is yung no working hour cap for international students in the aged care sector in 2023. So, earlier this year, we learned that the working hour limit for international students would be reinstated at a higher cap of 48 hours per fortnight as of 1st of July of 2023. However, if you are an international student working in the aged care sector, this doesn't apply to you. So, the federal budget of 2023 has revealed that international students working in aged care will be exempt from the working hour restriction for the rest of this year. This means they can work unlimited hours until the 31st of December of 2023. It wasn't specified if the 48 hour per fortnight limit would apply to international students working in aged care from 1st of January of next year. So, kailangan pa rin natin uh, uh, ma-anticipate pa rin tayo na baka mag-change pa rin siya from the 1st of January. Pero as of now, wala pang update kung babalik pa sa 48 hours after December 31. So, this is good news, lalo na sa ating mga kaibigan, mga kapatiran na nagtatrabaho na dito sa aged care, sa aged care facilities na pwede pa kayong magtrabaho unlimited work hours up until 30, 31st of December of this year. So kung may mga kakilala kayo na hindi pa nakakaalam sa update na ito, please share this video to them um, and let them know as well na may option pa tayong mag-work unlimited work hours. Sadly, sa ating mga kaibigan or mga kapatiran na nagtatrabaho sa ibang sector, magtatapos na po yung ating unlimited work hours sa trabaho up until 30th of June. So from July 1, back to 48 hours per fortnight na tayo sa ating work hours. 
So, i-address natin yung question na yon. May question kasi ako na receive sa Facebook at sa YouTube. Lagi nilang tinatanong or number one question na tinatanong nila is kung kasya ba yung 48 hours per fortnight na kita to support their studies at yung mga expenses din. So, sasagutin natin yan sa next video. So guys, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for my future updates. Thank you guys and God bless.